Have you ever stopped to wonder why birds can casually sit on high voltage power lines, lines powerful enough to kill a human in an instant, yet the birds remain completely unharmed? It feels almost like a mystery of nature, but the answer lies in a simple, invisible rule of physics. Here's what's really happening. When a bird lands on a single power line, both of its feet are touching the same wire. That means both feet are at exactly the same electrical potential. In other words, there is no voltage difference across the bird's body. And electricity has one strict requirement before it can move, it needs a difference in voltage. No difference? No current. No current? No shock. So even though that wire may be carrying tens or even hundreds of thousands of volts, the electricity has no reason to pass through the bird. The bird isn't part of a circuit. It's just sitting there, perfectly safe, like a passenger standing on a stationary train platform. But the danger appears instantly the moment that condition changes. If the bird touches two different wires at the same time, or if it touches a wire and something connected to the ground, such as a pole or metal structure, everything changes. Now there is a voltage difference. At that moment, the bird's body becomes a bridge between two points of different electrical potential. Current begins to flow through it, and the result is fatal. Think of it like a train on a single track. As long as it stays on that one track, everything is fine. But the moment it jumps onto another track, disaster is guaranteed. That's why birds survive on power lines. Not because they're immune to electricity, and not because the wires are harmless, but because physics is quietly protecting them. As long as they stay on a single line and don't complete a circuit, electricity ignores them completely. This simple, unseen rule of voltage and current silently saves millions of birds every single day. Proof that sometimes, survival depends not on strength or size, but on understanding the rules of the world you live in.